and welcome to your ASAP Hollywood series Ab Lab Workout. This workout is based on one of my most popular classes in Hollywood. It's meant to exhaust every muscle of your core. Every exercise is timed, which allows you to take breaks as you need them. So remember, take a break whenever you need, make sure your form is perfect, and stay hydrated to the workout if you need that. All right, we'll see you in the workout. Hi, and welcome to the workout. This ab lab workout uses one weight to start, so I want you to grab your weight, bring your elbows close to your body. We're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock, and we're gonna start with the basic twist for our warm up. Ready? Here we go. Take it up. One and two. Good. So this is a basic twist. I want you to come from the core. I want you to really keep that core connected. And for the workout, I want you to brace your core. It's different than pulling your belly button to the spine. I want you to really brace the whole body around the midsection. So this is a basic and easy twist, but I want you to think of it as a crunch every time you come across the midsection of your body. So make sure that the weight doesn't sag. You keep it really parallel to the floor, all right? We're gonna add a little more hip and a little more aggression in it. Push, one, two. So a little bit of speed, push. And it's about stopping. It's about reducing the force in your core as you come across that body. Good, one and two. A great warm-up exercise, good for the core. The core got rotational muscles in there, so you wanna work those rotational muscles. Press across, push, drive. Good, come on, press. Ah, all the way across. Three, two, and one. Good job, bring the weight straight up over the head. I want you to bring those feet parallel and directly under your hips. Reaching tall, you're gonna reach to the right, pressing over, and bring it back up, then reaching left, all the way over. Ready? Take a little bit fast. Here we go, one, and up. So I want you to really brace those core muscles as you come across each time, press. So this is a slow and steady workout here, right? We're still warming up the body, so I want you to make, take this really easy. Now, if you need to, bend your elbows just a little bit. That's okay, that'll take some of the pressure off the core. Just keep rocking side to side. We're gonna use the side to side movement in a couple of the exercises today, so I want you to be used to alternating sides. Press and drive. Now, if you're reaching full arm, I want you to reach even farther. I want you to reach to the corners of the room each time you come over to the side. Good. Reach and up. So you should start to feel those obliques, the side muscles of your core working. Drive and lift. You're doing great. You're about 10 seconds away. Up. Good. So reach to the side and reach. Good job. Come on. One more and bring it down. Very good job. Okay, we're gonna take a nice big swing. It's a big circle. We're gonna go in the right direction. So we're gonna make a big circle all the way up and let's go and up. And I want you to keep your feet planted to the floor and I want you to work the core all the way through. Yes, good, drive, excellent, press. Now I'm gonna ask you to speed this up a little bit. When I do, I want you to tighten the core down even more and work really strong from the center. Ready, go, two, good, three, four. Really swing through, tight, core, breathe. It's tough work all the way through. Come on, press, press, good, press. Keep going, keep going now. Let's reverse directions, bring it around. Nice and easy, swing and swing and swing. Good, so use that core. Make sure the shoulders don't take over the work. Use the abs, tighten them down and pick up the pace. Go, and swing, and swing. Good job, press. You got this, good warm up here. Press, and drive, all the way through. Keep it up, keep it up. Couple more seconds, almost to the end here. Long arms, and one more, and bring it home. Good job. We're gonna do a bat swing. Grab onto one head of the weight, and you're gonna swing across the body, drive the weight back in a nice circular pattern. Here we go. One, and back, and two, and back. Good, three. Now this is all about that force we talked about earlier, that force as you come across, making sure you stop the weight, pressing across the body. Really drive through those obliques. Come on, press, and drive, good, press and drive, and make sure, it's like you're meeting a wall, right? You got a stopping point here. Press, one more, push, let's go to the other side. Here we go, back and back, so swing, and back, and swing, and back. It's a great way to wake up your core, great way to get those muscles working. Press, it also gets you breathing a little heavy here. Come on, swing, tighten up that core. Remember that bracing of the core, press, and back, good. Press, and back, beautiful, swing and back, it's like chopping at a tree. Push, and back, good, and back. Two more, push, and back. One more time, beautiful work, okay. 
We're gonna do standing rotation. So now the weight goes back into both hands. Nice and easy, you're just gonna lift the knee and twist toward that knee starting on the right side. Here we go. One and two and three. So at first, this feels pretty good, right? No problem, but as we keep doing it, it gets a little harder and harder to do. But what I want you to do is avoid the common mistake with this, and that's dropping the back into the legs. Okay, I see this all the time. What I want you to do is keep the back tall so you're rotating from the core and not the lower spine. Press across, good. We're about halfway there, a little bit more. Push and press, drive and press. If you want more, you can drive the weight up and around as well. That's gonna be a little harder work to do. Up to you if you like to, and press. Beautiful, keep that body tall. Remember, don't let that back round out. Drive it up, come on, come on. Push, drive, push, drive. Get that beautiful oblique motion in there each time. Come on, drive, two, push, two, good. Four, and three, and two, and one. Beautiful job, okay. So we're gonna rotate out of some warm ups and we're gonna get into some really hard work. So. I want you to grab that weight, both hands. You're gonna take a right leg lunge and you're gonna chop that weight down, keeping the chest high. So be very careful of letting the chest fold forward on this exercise. This is about keeping the rotation alive in your core. You guys ready? Let's go, take it chop and back, chop and back. And this is where you can work out some aggressions, right? <laughs> Anything making you mad today or this week, you can absolutely take it out on this exercise right now. Push, and you wanna tighten that core down every time you come across, and drive. Good, and swing it down each time, making sure that lunge is perfect, the chest is high, open up the back, tight through the core each time. Drive, and up, beautiful. Press, and up, you're doing great. Press, two more on this side. Two, one more. And let's go to the other side. Come on, chop, down, and up. Good, chop, and up. Remember, keep the chest high, drive. If you keep your core tight, keep bracing those muscles. Everything works beautifully. Come on, chop, and lift. So you can do a lot of core movement standing, and that's our goal. Get a standing routine in first, and then right on the mat. Press, and back, press, and back. Couple more, come on. Couple more in two. And in one, good job, okay. Let's bring that weight into the right hand, right hand, overhead. We've seen this one before, but it's always a goodie. You're gonna bring the right knee up as you press the elbow in for that oblique. Support your body with the opposite arm to the hip. Ready, here we go, drive it down. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Come on, push through. So this one gets tiring really fast but I want you to keep perfect form. I want you to keep it to the side and not dropping forward. Again, watching the spine. So you keep it lateral, a movement to the outside and not forward and down. Come on. We're getting close to the point where we're gonna switch sides. Getting close, getting close. Three, two, one, and let's switch. Go to the other side in that left hand. Ready, go. Push and push, drive, come on. And I want you to feel that lift from the core, right? So yeah, the upper body's moving. You're getting some cardio, pushing over the shoulder. That's okay, but I want you to really find the core every time you pull down. Come on, and drive. You guys, 10 seconds to go. Come on, come on, and push. Drive, all the way, come on. You got this, you got this. In two and one, back to the right hand. We're gonna do what's called a windmill. I love these. They're a little technical, so we're gonna spend some time getting this set up. Right arm comes up over the head, okay? And you're gonna take your left foot and turn the toe out just slightly. You're pressing the hip back and you're reaching for the floor. Depending on how flexible you are, depends on how far you'll go. Don't worry about touching the floor. Go at your own pace. It's two counts down. Down for two, look up at that weight and drive it up. Be careful of over bending this knee, okay? You wanna keep this knee bent but solid. Go down, two and up, two. So because we're talking about form here, I want you to see this perfect form. When the shell takes this nice dip, these oblique muscles, these muscles right here, are firing to lift. I can feel them working. You feel them? I feel them. I really do feel these muscles working here. And this is not an easy exercise, so I really want you to keep strong from the core each time you come up. Good? Strong from the core. Good job, you guys. Keep this up. A couple more. Down from the core and up one more time. And one, beautiful, let's take it to the other side. So, let's go to the left hand, left hand up. Take that right foot, turn it out. Push the hip through and sit into this. Let's go, down for two and up. 
So again, these oblique muscles, the side body muscles are rotating, working strong. Down, for two, and up. For two, again, down. For two, and up. Keep this going, down. For two, and up, come on. Push, press. And again, be careful of over bending that knee. You wanna keep this knee bent, but locked in place, yeah? So it stays nice and strong. Down, press and up again. Go down, press and up. Let's do a couple more. Down, press and up one more time. Down, press and up, beautiful job, okay. So we're done with our standing part. I want you to put your weight down and I want you to meet me on the mat. We're gonna to go to a plank. Very important, we're gonna spend 60 seconds in this plank and we're gonna work nice and strong for that flat back abs tight, okay? So not much movement on this one. I want you to come down onto the forearms, shoulders over the elbows, extend your legs and take a beautiful lift into the core. 60 seconds on, let's go. Hold it right here. So the most important thing you can do is make sure that you don't have extreme angles in your shoulders here. You wanna stay right on top. You wanna focus on connecting the core to the work. So many times we see people that sag, that let the hips pull forward. You wanna lift into a straight line. Okay, so think of a straight line from the back of the neck all the way through the tailbone. And then imagine your body being pulled in opposite directions. And that's gonna help you fire up your core. Lift and hold it there. Now. It doesn't look like much, but it really works the core. Your body weight is fighting against gravity, and that's important to keep that body nice and tall. Okay, hold it here. Keep breathing. Keep breathing, we're almost there. How you guys doing? That's a tough one. Not a lot of movement, not too dynamic, but very strong. You gotta hold it here, you guys, okay. Just a few more seconds, we got this. Take a deep breath here, inhale. And exhale, let it go, good job. So that's your plank. We're gonna come back to that plank, we're gonna add a little rock side to side, so we're gonna work those obliques as well as the middle abdominals, okay? So, you guys ready for it? Here comes another minute, all right? We're gonna bring it up, bring it up. I want you to bring your feet together this time. Flat back, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a semicircle. Hip drops down, semicircle, hip drops down. Do it again, semicircle, hip drops down, semicircle, hip drops down. Let's go a little faster. Hips, up, hips, up, hips. And you'll see that I'm looking down for this exercise. This is where your proper form is, long neck, okay? So let's visit Michelle and Terry Ann in this one. What I want you to be careful of is over-rotating. This is a perfect rotation. It keeps the body really clean and it's gonna work those obliques again. So not only are you in the core here, but you get to those obliques as well here. Good job. How you doing, Terry Ann? You good? Well, let's give you a modification. Why don't we do a little shorter one, a little tiny press to the side, each side. And this is a smaller rotation, right? So you're not getting as deep, you're not lifting as much of your body weight in. You guys good? Yeah. We're just a few seconds away from being done. Let's do two more, one more for me, guys. Good job, excellent work, okay. Moving on, another 60 seconds. So, we have our planks, our rocking plank. We're gonna go to a wall climber. Now this one's tough too. We just got a lot of tough work today. We're doing great, let's go. Palms down, you wanna go legs long abs are tight. You want to rock to make sure your shoulders are above your wrists. Now, if you have any problems with your wrist, you can always pick up weights that might help your wrist placement or use your fists if you're comfortable with that. From here, you're going to draw the knee to the outside elbow and press back. And then the other side. Does not matter how fast you go. You got 60 seconds to do as many as you can. Ready? Let's go. Take it in. One and back. Two, if you need a modification for this exercise because the plank is too hard, that's okay. Put one knee down and only work one leg for about 30 seconds, right? So you get that one leg pulling in and then you can take the other knee down and work the other leg for 30 seconds. So there's always a progression for you if you need it. Modify anytime, take a break anytime. How you guys doing? Yeah, this one's a tough one. <laughs> so keep going. If your arms get super tired, you can come down into a forearm plank, okay? So you're a little lower to the ground here, pressing through, so if you guys wanna transfer down, that's okay, but it does make the work in the core a little bit harder to do. So if you wanna take a break, knees come down, come right back to that plank, and keep working it. You guys were a little bit over 10 seconds to go. You're doing brilliant. So this is tough. This is a hard one, come on. And press, push. How you doing at home? You good? You good? We got one more. One more and release and breathe. Oh my goodness. So if you make it through that 60 seconds, you're doing an amazing job. Take a break whenever you need to. Okay, so we're moving on. How you guys doing? We all right? <laughs> okay, so we did our wall climber. 
we're gonna rock the boat. This is a great exercise. Let's get back on our butt and back. And this is all about form as well. We're gonna set this up real strong. I want you to roll back and lift the feet off the floor, okay? I want you to put your hands together and reach for the sky. Then I want you to draw those hands over the head, staying in that nice lifted crunch position. You ready for the hard part? Extend one leg. Now extend the other leg. Oh, there we go. And all you're gonna do, let's start that clock. We're gonna go push and press, push and press, push and press. It's already hurting, it's already tight, come on. It's so hard to do, but it's good. So rock it out. Now here's your modification. Hug the knees and just take a simple rock side to side while you crunch, right? Right, I know you guys want this one. <laughs> so this is your modification for your break if you need it. But let's go back to that rock the boat, let's go. Push, I feel it right off the bat. Super tough exercise to do. Anytime you wanna bring those knees in, you bring them in. If this aggravates your lower back, guess what? Come right to the knee, that'll support your back, okay? You guys, just a little over 10 seconds to go. Come on, push and drive. Almost there. <laughs> we're so close, we're so close. Come on, finish this out and breathe. Come on, breathe, come on. Two and one, hug the knees to the chest and take that break. You're doing great, you guys, great work. You want that ripped midsection, this is the way you get it. You can't give up on this, you can't give up on it. Okay, so let's grab your weight and let's go to what we call the reach. And you're gonna bring it, bring that weight right to your belly button, right here. Now remember, this is your starting and ending point for this exercise. You're gonna reach for the ceiling. Exhale, straight up, push and bring it straight back down each time. Push and back down. Let's start that clock. Let's go up and down. Squeeze and down. If you want a modification for this, it's real simple. You bring the weight to the belly button just like we started. And you just reach up for a crunch and down. Reach up for a crunch and down. Your speed does not matter. It matters about how many you can do with good quality, yes? So bring it down so if you guys get tired, take that break and back. So this is a full roll up, chest lifts, back opens up, you're doing beautiful work you guys. Come on, exhale on the way up, push, never easy. If a workout is easy, it's not a workout, right? A workout's gotta be a challenge, so it always has to challenge you to push those boundaries. Press it up, you guys, just a little bit over 10 seconds to go. Come on, come on, press and back, oh my goodness, press and back. Who wants them? Midsections, gotta be nice and lean. Come on, one more and take that break. Like I said, it's gotta work, all right? 60 seconds. I want you to put your weight down and we're going to what's called a low bicycle. A lot of us know the bicycle. This is my take on it. The longer the legs are, the more work you get. I'll give you the regular modification in just a moment. Hands behind the head. Drive your body up into crunch position. Ready? Let's do this one together, yeah? Let's just start the clock. Bring it up. <laughs> and we want to extend the right leg and the left leg. This is where you start and end your bicycle. One, and back, and two, and back, and three. And you should feel the difference right off the bat. We normally do bicycles way up here, right? And this position, there's less intensity in the core, so they're easier to do. You can do a lot more here. You want that intensity, go deep, all right? But your modification is going back to a regular one right here which will help you take the break, yes? So if you need to do these a few times, that's cool, that's all good. But I want you to try to get that long lever one in. And here's the other trick. Don't forget that you're doing a crunch, right? It's easy just to get the legs to work. Are you hating me right now? Yeah. <laughs> Tarian's like, go away, Paul, go away. <laughs> um, but don't forget, you can see that Tarian's got this beautiful crunch going on. Don't forget that this is what it's about. Even though your legs are moving, keep it in the core. Two more, one more for me. One more, beautiful work. Awesome, let's go. Another 60 seconds on the clock. So, you thought that one was tough. <laughs> we got the low chop hanging. Low chop. So the low chop is here. I want you to roll back. Abs, behind, uh, abs are tight, hands behind the head. Draw up. Your left leg is gonna extend out, okay? And you wanna hold it there. Your right leg also extends out. Now here's your modification. You put one leg to the ground, okay? Anytime you need it. You take that right leg, your left arm, and you chop them together at the top, and you come back down. Let's go. Chop and down, chop. So you have the floating version, right? This is the floating chop. 
or you could put that heel down for the modification. So don't forget to take a break anytime you need it. Chop and down, come on. Chop and down, keep leading, chop. Now I really feel this one, you guys feel this one? This one's a killer. So anytime you need to put that heel down, you put it down. Come on you guys, a few more seconds on this side and then we're moving on to the other side, come on. Give me one more, one more, and one. Let's set up the other side, good job. Walk those heels away, walk those heels away. Bring the right leg up, ready? Here we go, chop it up, up and back. Oh my goodness, I feel it already. I feel it already, so remember, the option is here. Always supports that back, it keeps your abs working the whole time even if you need the break, okay? And you can also bring the heel down in the length of the leg versus bending the knee. Your choice here, you guys. Couple more, up, and one more, and bring it down, oh my goodness. Okay, we're working, we're working. <laughs> Gotta whittle away at that midsection. Okay, so we're gonna do one of my favorite exercises. It's a suspension, so what I want you to do is grab your weight, okay? And I want you to grab your weight just like this, so you have one head in each hand, and you're gonna come very carefully back down, you're gonna roll down, and you're gonna bring that weight over the head. You're gonna pull the elbows close to the body, the weight practically touching the back of your head. You're gonna draw up into a crunch position. You're never leaving this crunch position, always here. Hold this nice and tight. Now lift the knees. Now extend the right leg. Oh. Now extend the left leg. Oh. Now tuck your knees to your elbows. Tuck in, extend, tuck in, extend, tuck in. Now this is an advanced exercise. So remember to take a break whenever you need one. Let me give you the modification. The modification tucks the knees and tucks the heels back to the floor. But you're never forgetting that you have this connection. That is your crunch. So like we talked about before, let's take a look at some form. The girls are here and they're working super strong. You can see that Carrie Ann's got her crunch held the whole time. They're working overtime. This is how you get that midsection. We all want it. It's the number one question we get all the time. Six pack abs, whittle away at the waist. How do I get my tummy to get flatter? Right here, suspend your core, working nice and strong. Come on you guys, a few more seconds. Just a little bit over 15 seconds to go. I love these, I love these. Do them all the time. Bring it in and out, come on. And in, give me one more. One more you guys, all the way in and release it down. Oh, good job, okay. So that's your suspend, I love those. Let's go and move on to what we call the second hand draw. I'm gonna give you two options for this to save your lower back if you have any modifications for your lower back. First things first, let's get this set up. One leg bent to the floor, one leg extended. Hands behind the head and in crunch position. Every time you do a crunch, that long leg is gonna come up like the second hand on a clock, all the way up. Okay, push and drive. Drive and then now oblique twist to that leg. Up and down, up. If you want to add intensity to this, take a look. Take that bent knee, extend it out. Pull that leg away, press and two and now tick tock back down. We go one and two and three and four, feel it and five. Two more, two more, two and one. Take a quick break. Good job, okay, now the other side. So bent knee, extend the leg, or if you want that intensity, both legs go straight. Here we go, take it up, little tick tock, all the way to the top. Don't forget to bend that knee, support the lower back if you need to. Press to the top, and let's go to the oblique. Press one, and back, two, and back, three, and back, four, come on, come on. Drive, and back, press, and back. You want it to be tougher, bring it back, tick tock down, let's go, eight, and seven, oh my goodness, and six, I feel it, you feel it, four, and four, and three, and two, and one, bring it down, beautiful job, beautiful job, okay, let's put a minute on that clock, I know what's next, I know it, the X factor, it's coming, okay, so first thing, two options, hug the knees to the chest, really drive that body tall, your first option is simple, it just drives the body down, you can put the heels down, so you can rest that back and you come straight back to the V. Or you can come to a tall V, straight out, and push straight up all the way. A little bit harder to do there. You guys ready? Yes. Let's go! Tuck it in and out. So this is your first modification. Heels down, press. Or take the full one all the way. Now if you're doing a full V, come with me. I want you to see what this looks like when the chest is tall, the back is open. This is beautiful, Michelle, come on, bring it up. So 
press and you listen to her breathing. Love that. If you hold your breath, you turn blue and you pass out, and that's not good. So we want to make sure you're breathing every time you do this exercise. How you doing, Carrie Ann? Yeah? And remember, you can always bring the heels down if you need to as a rest, right? So bring it up and bring it back down. So this is also your option, but Terri Ann doesn't want that. <laughs> she wants to work through this. She wants to work through. Come on, push and drive. Come on, take as many as you can do. We're just above 10 seconds, you guys. Bring it back. Uh, and extend. Tuck. Hop. Extend. Come on. Tuck. Extend. That's good. Up. Come on, come on. One more and release and breathe. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're almost there. You're so close, so just stay with this. We're going to do a little combination. And the combination, I like the boxer drill is what I call it. It's great. And what we're going to do is we're going to do three rope climbs. So take a look. You're going to climb one. You're going to climb two. You're going to climb three. Tall back. You're going to set up your body in this nice pull back position. And you're going to go over the obliques for four punches, strong punches, OK? Then you're going to target in the center of your body. You're going to pick up the pace for eight punches. And here's the clincher. You're going to punch another eight times as you roll down using the core. You go right back to your rope climb. we got one solid minute. You guys ready? Let's do it. Go. Climb. Two. Three. Set it up and punch. Go. Four. Three, two, punch center, pick up your pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, roll it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, rope climb. One, two, three, set it up. Oblique one, two, three, center punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, rope climb. One, two, three, set it up and punch. Come on, reach, punch. Punch, bring it back to center, come on. One, two, come on, don't give up on this. Roll it back, roll it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, climb it up. One, two, three, sit back. Last time, one, two, three, push through. One, two, three, four, five, six, roll it back slow. Push, push, and back. Ah, oh, how'd you do? Good job, guess what? That's it. <laughs> it's enough, right? We're good, we're good. Let's take a little bit of a stretch. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Oh, my goodness. Sweaty in that workout. Bring your heels down to the floor. I want you to just hug around your knees and lift your back. Let's take a deep stretch through the spine, nice and tall. Take some deep breaths. You guys did a great job. That is a tough workout. And I don't necessarily expect you to get through every 60 second interval the first time out. But if you can, amazing, right? And you will get there. That's why we build everything around those 60 second progressions. So you can always take as much time as you need to take a break. Let's take a rotation. Hand to the back, lift the chest, and rotate. Get that nice spinal deep rotation in there. Hold it to the top. Imagine your head is being pulled right through the ceiling all the way up. And bring it back to the other side. Other side, bring it up. Good. All the way up, head to the ceiling. Feel that deep rotation all the way through. Good. And bring it back to center. You're just gonna swing your legs around. We're gonna get into the quadruped position and we're gonna release the muscles around the spine. A lot of work that we were doing. So your palms are directly under your shoulders and you're just gonna take a big, deep rotation. Make that spine into a big jump rope. And try to keep your hips and shoulders somewhat stable, right? So all the way around. Press and drive, good. Let's change directions. This feels good. This is a great, great stretch through the spine, getting all those muscles to relax. All the way up. Good, now let's walk the hands forward just a bit. I want you to extend the legs and press the hips straight through the mat so you open up the back. You open up the chest right above the rib cage. Lift nice and tall, take a deep breath. There should be no tension in your shoulders or in your neck at this point. Just nice and tall stretch all the way up. Bring it back to center. Walk those hands all the way towards your knees. Lift your body nice and tall. Let's lap, clasp the fingers together. Drive the hands right to the ceiling, and then take a slight arch back all the way. Good. And bring it back to center, round out the back. Sit into those heels, really press through. Create that nice big space between the back and the palms. And bring it all the way back up. Good, exhale down, let's step forward and come off the floor. So come all the way up. We're gonna take a couple standing stretches here, just nice and strong. Take a deep breath up all the way. 
Good, I want you to dive backwards. Open up all the way, dropping the shoulders, open up the chest, and then round out the back all the way. Nice and big, dropping those shoulders into the body. Come right back up to the top. Bring those feet together, deep breath. Let's take a deep side bend to the right, all the way, really reaching through the side of the body. Bring it all the way up and go to the other side, all the way. You got this. And bring it to the top, release it down, take one deep breath up, all the way. I want you to feel that beautiful core as you exhale, push down, tighten up. Great job today, you guys. Excellent work. Thank you for joining us in your Hollywood series Ab Lab workout. I hope you feel great, and we'll see you at the next workout. Yeah.